Hey Gearfax Geezers, today we're going to have a look at the BWI Dynamic Fuzz. We'll listen to some sounds and talk about it afterwards. Clean sound first of all. Okay, so there's a pretty good cross sec. Okay, so there's a pretty good cross section of its sounds. Let's take a closer look at the control panel. <coughs> First of all, I'm just going to jump in with a bit of a comment. First of all, I'm just going to jump in with a bit of a comment that I think this is the most solidly built machine of any kind that I have ever seen. I know guitar pedals are usually built pretty sturdy, but this has like got a thick sheet of metal on the outside with screws everywhere you could possibly expect them to be. The switches feel... The switches feel rock solid. Even this toggle switch is shielded with metal all around it. This is going to last you a very long time. Your ancestors are going to be using this pedal thousands of years from now, but anyway, let's get on with it. We've got our master fuzz control there. We all know that's our control for the amount of fuzz distortion in there. Tone control as well. And that's grouped together with two level switches. This is interesting and a useful feature as well. You can have two separate levels controlled by this right hand or right footed switch right here. So green and red and we're on two different levels there. It really is as simple as that and that's a really useful feature if you're changing your dynamics in the song as you go. If you want to change the amount of fuzz distortion you can switch over to V switch here on the side. This is a velocity sensitive switch so it will give you an increase or decrease in fuzz depending on how hard you hit it with your foot. 
and that can be trimmed using the VFuzz switch there. So when it's right on maximum, in theory, the amount of force you give it can give you any amount of fuzz from zero right up to 10. That all sounds pretty random, of course, but if you flip it over discreetly down the bottom here, and this is quite hard to remove, I'll just pick it off with something here, but there's a little, um, a little screw hole there. Using a flat screwdriver, you can calibrate the sensitivity of that V switch. So you can set it up to get the right feel for the amount of force you're likely to put into that switch there. Right at the moment, I've got it set up so that its sensitivity is basically zero or one. So it's a bypass switch, basically. If it's, if it's on, I'm playing, and if it's off, I'm not playing. However, if you're a really visceral player and you think you'd really like to control the amount of fuzz distortion you're giving it in relation proportionally exact to the amount of force you give that switch, I reckon that could be a whole lot of fun on stage. I can imagine it would be a bit of a thrill to be playing a pretty sedate part of your song and then just really jump on top of this and launch into a whole lot of fuzz. Not really my style of playing, but I'm sure there's lots of you out there who'd really love that experience. Sound-wise, well, again, it's very subjective, but for me, I thought basically having everything at maximum was the best sound for the BWI Dynamic Fuzz. It gave me what I would describe as basically the exact distortion that I would like to use all the time. I've never been one for turning the fuzz down and playing softly with fuzz. I find that's more the domain of overdrive, but again, that's just me. There are plenty of great players, plenty of legendary players who've got great results from low levels of fuzz and deep levels of tone, which again is not somewhere I tend to tread, but everybody's different. And I think the sheer quality of this pedal would lead any player to be able to find the exact sound that they want in terms of fuzz when this is grouped together with the other pedals in your chain. So what you've just heard is the BWI Dynamic Fuzz all on its own. No boost, no color from an amp, nothing like that at all. Those sounds were recorded directly into my Boss multi-track recorder. So I hope that very honest demo of this pedal is helpful for you guys. Thanks for liking, commenting, or subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Gear Facts. See you around.